Here's how to quickly fix your audio or speaker problems if you have an HP computer. It was extremely frustrating for me because every time my computer went to sleep and I woke it up, the audio would not work, despite the fact that I would run a quick test and it would show me that it's working. The only way how I could fix it was by restarting it, but I'm going to walk you through the steps so that you don't have to go through that same frustration as I did. First off, I need to give credit because this post really saved me. If it weren't for this guy, I wouldn't be making this video right now, but I'm going to show you step by step how you can do the same. So the first thing you want to do is go to the HP support website, go ahead and Google it, look at software and drivers, and go ahead and type in your computer model. If you're not sure what it is, you can hit the Windows button on your keyboard and type in system information. So it'll look something like this. So once you know your computer model, go ahead and type it in and select the correct one. I already have it open in a new tab. You'll then want to select your operating system. So mine is Windows 11. There's a few options here, um, but Windows 11 seemed to fit the best. I go ahead and hit submit. And at this point, I'm going to expand the driver-audio driver right here. And then I can hit download. Now this is important, don't install it, just simply download it because we'll have to restart our computer later. So then once we are at that point, we can install it. But for now, download it and make sure you know where it's located. Next, you're gonna to wanna to go into the device manager. So you can hit the Windows button on your keyboard or go down here and select device manager, have that open up. And then scroll down to the section that says sound, video, and game controllers. You're going to want to uninstall two items, the first one being the Realtek Audio. And when you right click and do uninstall, a pop-up will appear stating, do you want to attempt to uninstall the drivers and completely delete it, remove it? Make sure you hit that checkbox and hit OK. And if you happen to see a second item that talks about Intel high definition audio, do that one as well. And at that point, you will be able to restart your computer. And once you do, go to the location wherever you downloaded that file for the driver and install it. Once you get done with that, you're going to want to make sure that you have the correct audio device selected. So on the bottom right, you can right click and say sound settings, wherever you have that speaker icon. And then you can go ahead and make sure that you have the right speaker selected. You can click the test button right here just to make sure it works or just play regular audio and at that point you should be all set this issue has legit frustrated me for months i'd have to restart my computer set everything back up so hopefully this helps you out if it did make sure to give a like i'll see you guys in the next video